Dobro jutro, Fibi. We are Tamara and David, an Anglo-Balkan couple who live in a village in beautiful northern Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here on our channel, we take you along with us during our daily lives and also to the places we discover on our trips away. From everyday life to culture and food, we'll show you what it's like for us living in this much misunderstood country. We're looking forward to you joining us. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Good morning, everyone. So this is what my dad did the other day. He uh, put the asphalt and then he put the gravels on top. So it looks more like a natural thing. And the reason he's done this, it's because it's easier when we cut the grass to maintain it. So hopefully there won't be much grass. And uh, yeah, it's a little pathway to upstairs. So that's what he's done and it looks really neat. So now it's much easier to cut the grass so we don't have to go in that area. Just this area. It's a Thursday afternoon and I'm back in the studio. I think you can see that I'm still using the trusty crutches. But tomorrow we're off to the hospital. Um, I think we've got an appointment in the morning at about 9.30. The doctor's going to be there. But I think it's first come, first served. So if a lot of people get there before Tam and me, then it's going to be a long way. And we've already planned that we could be there all day. The aim is to get the screw out. Uh, there are seven screws, and I don't know which is the one that's going to come out. But apparently, when one of those is out, I can start physio. And I can assure you that no matter how painful it's going to be, I want to crack on. Uh, it's been seven weeks. I thought it was going to be six. It's been seven weeks of just hobbling about. I mean, you know, I can't even go to and from the office without it being some sort of a drama. And when I'm indoors, I have an office chair that I can scoot around the floors. Luckily, we don't have carpets everywhere. A bit silly living in a village anyway, uh, with all the animals and all the, you know, the dirt and things that they bring in. So it's easier to clean up when you have uh, a non-carpeted floor. But I'm able to scoot about um, a lot on that. So, yeah. And Tam's been off today. I'm waiting for her to come back to tell me the story. Um, Phoebe has gone shopping for the first time. There's a huge department store in Banja Luka called Delta Planet, uh, and it's dog friendly. And uh, yeah, looking forward to finding out exactly what happened there. I did dollar. Phoebe. I did share it. Phoebe! Phoebe! There's Phoebe! Yeah, Phoebe! Your shopping go! Phoebe! Hey, Phoebe, my daddy! Tuka! Jesse! Where are we going today? We are going to UKC Center. Why? Because David needs to screw out of his leg. <laughs> so hopefully we're gonna get it done today. Frederick's driving. Let's go!
So I've got a mask on because we're outside and we've just come out of the hospital here in Banyaluka. It was a long wait but that's the way it is and I've just seen the doctor that operated on me first time for my broken ankle, Dr. Milorad Marin, great guy and he's taken out the screw which I will show you uh, here. That's the screw that he took out of my leg. So what I've got now is 10 to 12 days of taking it easy because they've <coughs> stitched up the wound where they took the screw out and then after that I start my physiotherapy and with a bit of luck I won't have to come all the way into Banyaluka we can get it done in uh, Lactashi which is the nearest town to us but we'll have to see about that but this hospital here in Banyaluka is first class it's called the UKC right mm -hmm. the, yeah. Uni the University Clinical Center I think is a direct translation but I think if we said it in English we would say uh, the University Hospital amazing really really new very professional people it's great and I have to show you this I am not holding crutches at the moment I can put full weight on what was a broken ankle although I have to take it a bit easy for a bit longer uh, so I will be using uh, the crutches for the next day or two so that's it how cool am I I don't know if you can hear me but yesterday I was in Banya Lutheran Hospital and got my pin out and now she's working I'm walking. Hello everyone, it's 6.30 in the morning and I'm at the piazza with my mother. And as you can see, people are setting up. Uh, the reason why I came so early, 6.30, is because it's a crazy house for the parking. You cannot basically park at 9 o'clock, so if you, there's not enough space. And uh, this is my mother, she always brings uh, this, I don't know how to say this in English, but she pulls this so if we buy anything it's easier and so we don't have to carry to the car. And the reason why I came today on Sunday is to buy bell peppers so I can make more uh, winter food. As you can see here, there's lots of things from cups, from espresso makers, to clothes clothes, you can buy anything really in here, anything. Uh, we were looking for the shoes here now, there's a lady that comes from Modrica and she sells uh, really good shoes. Uh, I don't know how she buys them, but uh, you can buy Birkenstocks for 30 marks, which is like 15 euros, the brand new ones. And uh, yeah, see, there's a such. You can buy anything for the garden that you might need. Uh, I was following my mother because uh, she knows where to go, because she goes there all the time and she used to go for years and years. The only uh, time when she doesn't go to Piazza is uh, on winter. And I don't know if I said, but this uh, big Piazza is... That's a pump. Uh, sorry, we were looking for the pump. Uh, this big Piazza <coughs> is only on Sundays. There's a little bit on Tuesday, but the best one is on Sunday. And everyone is there. People are selling everything and anything and lots of people buying. But I'm saying this is very early, so not many people came. And I said it's a crazy out there to find the parking if you come later. So basically she's asking for the price of the peppers and they're very expensive and we need 11 kilos to buy. So we're gonna go, we didn't buy anything but we are going to buy it next time because I want to make more of these uh, paprika and senf. Uh, we made a video about that and uh, lavachka salata which is a paprika a pepper salad in a tomato juice they look lovely but they are so expensive and then when you're buying a lot it gets quite uh, quite a lot so 
we're gonna go next week and see uh, lots of uh, spicy pepper and I also ordered some uh, rakia domestic uh, karamut brandy made from um, made from karamut which is a uh, pear pear brandy David likes that so I ordered five liters from the guy uh, that we usually buy from and he has about 20 liters left. Mm -hmm.